Russia finally showed the weapon it was hiding for over 10 years. The Sukhoi S-70 Okhotnik B rolled out into daylight. A huge black drone, shaped like a flying wing, built to destroy targets without being seen. For years, the West made fun of Russia's drone program. They said it was slow, weak, and outdated. But that all changed in one day. The Okhotnik B appeared, the biggest, stealthiest, and smartest drone ever made. It's not built to swarm in groups. It's built to strike alone and survive. It flies so quietly that radar can't find it. It carries missiles inside, hidden from enemy sensors. And once it locks on, there's no escape. That single flight made every Air Force rethink war. Because this drone doesn't need a pilot. It doesn't need orders. It doesn't make mistakes. It follows its AI brain. And it learns with every mission. Stay till the end. Because the Okotnik B is not just a drone. It's the proof that the age of human pilots is almost over. 2025. Russia finally confirmed the Okotnik B was ready for combat. This was not a prototype or a test model anymore. It was an operational drone built to fight and survive in real wars. The Okotnik B came with a 20-meter wingspan, a smooth stealth body, no tail, and no cockpit for a pilot. It looked more like a shadow than an aircraft. Every part was designed to absorb radar waves and stay invisible in the sky. For the first time, the world saw the largest and most advanced combat drone ever built. Military analysts called it a turning point in drone warfare. This was not a project under testing. It was a battle-ready machine. Unlike normal drones that rely on remote pilots, the Okotnik could operate alone. It could plan routes, track targets, and strike without waiting for human commands. Its debut shocked both NATO and Asian defense networks. But the real power behind Okotnik wasn't its size or shape. It was something hidden deep in its history. A secret that explained why it was built. The Okotnik B was not created overnight. Its story began in 2012, inside a classified Sukhoi project hidden from the public. Engineers worked in secret hangars, designing a drone that could disappear from radar. They chose a flying wing shape, no tail, no cockpit, no sharp edges. This gave it a radar cross section smaller than a bird. Even powerful tracking systems could barely detect it. Its smooth surface was built to deflect radar waves instead of reflecting them, and its flat exhaust reduced heat signatures, making it almost invisible to infrared sensors. Every bolt, every panel, every curve was designed to hide it from view. It wasn't just built to fly, it was built to survive. While other drones could be shot down, the Okotnik was meant to never be found. For Russia, this was the first aircraft that truly vanished into the air. But that was only half the plan, because disappearing was just its first trick. The next one was how it kills without being seen. On August 3rd, 2019, the Okotnik B took off for its first autonomous flight at Oktubinsk Air Base. There was no pilot, no control stick, and no human hand guiding it. For 20 full minutes, the drone flew by itself, perfectly balanced, perfectly steady. It took off, turned, climbed, and landed without a single manual correction. Every move was controlled by its AI brain, not by a human. For the first time, a Russian aircraft flew using pure machine logic. It didn't just follow commands, it analyzed and adapted in real time. The onboard system tracked wind, altitude, and engine flow, and made instant changes to keep the flight stable. Even test engineers were shocked at how natural it flew. It wasn't acting like a machine, it was acting like a pilot that learns. That flight proved that autonomous flight was no longer science fiction. But this was only the beginning, because soon, the Okotnik wouldn't just fly alone, it would learn to fight beside humans in real combat. In September 2019, the Okotnik B took part in a joint flight with Russia's Su-57 fighter jet. For the first time, a human pilot and an AI drone flew as one team. The Okotnik stayed close behind the Su-57, almost like a shadow in the sky. It used its sensors to extend the fighter's radar range far beyond normal limits. At the same time, it jammed enemy radars, blocking their ability to detect or lock on. Every signal it sent was calculated and timed by its onboard AI. The pilot in the Su-57 could now see farther, react faster, and strike sooner. Together, they became the world's first manned-unmanned strike pair. One used instinct, the other used data, and together they were unstoppable. It wasn't a pilot commanding a drone anymore. 
It was a partnership between human control and machine intelligence. That moment changed the idea of air teamwork forever, and that fusion made the Okotnik B more lethal than any drone ever built. Beneath the Okotnik B's wide black wings, there are two hidden weapon bays. Inside them sits 2.8 tons of missiles and bombs, sealed away from radar view. No external mounts, no hanging weapons. Everything is inside the body to keep it stealthy. It can launch KH-59 MK-2 cruise missiles, anti-radar weapons, and guided bombs without ever being seen. When it fires, there is no flash, no smoke, and no sound in the sky. By the time radar picks up a signal, the target is already gone. Unlike normal bombers that carpet the ground, the Okotnik strikes with sniper accuracy. It picks a single target, attacks, and vanishes before anyone knows it was there. Every launch teaches its AI system something new. How enemies move, how radars react, how to strike faster next time. It doesn't just fire weapons, it learns from each strike. The more it attacked, the smarter it became. And soon, the world realized. This wasn't a drone following orders. It was a hunter learning to perfect the kill. Between 2021 and 2023, the Okotnik B went through a series of AI and targeting trials. These tests focused on its onboard computer, the true brain of the drone. Using advanced machine vision sensors, it could now spot and track targets on its own. It didn't need a human to tell it what to hit or when to strike. During live trials, it proved it could identify threats choose targets, and fire independently. If one route became dangerous, it would reroute mid-mission, making new decisions in seconds. It wasn't just following commands anymore. It was thinking, reacting, and adapting like a trained pilot. Every flight made its AI system smarter, learning from terrain, movement, and enemy responses. This was no longer a machine controlled by humans. It was a war machine, making choices on its own. The Okotnik didn't just copy human behavior it started to outthink it. So now one question began to spread through every Air Force. What happens when a drone thinks faster than its pilot? By mid-2023, strange reports began coming out of Ukraine. Targets were being destroyed with extreme precision, far beyond the ability of any known drone. Yet on the ground, there was no wreckage, no engine parts, no missile remains. It was as if the attacks came from nowhere. Analysts studying the impact zones noticed something unusual. Each strike looked like it came from a stealth aircraft, not a missile or artillery shell. Then came data from US satellites. They detected heat signatures that matched the Okotnik B's exhaust pattern. But there were no visible launch sites, no open runways, no radar trails. The drone seemed to appear, strike, and vanish. It left behind only perfectly hit targets, and questions no one could answer. Western experts began to fear the truth, that the Okotnik wasn't in testing anymore. It was already in combat, quietly proving its stealth and precision in real missions. And that's when intelligence agencies finally realized the truth. The Okotnik B was already operational. The Okotnik B isn't a throwaway drone. It was built to last, to return, and to fight again. Unlike the drone swarms that crash after one mission, each Okotnik is reusable and fully repairable. It can fly over 6,000 kilometers without refueling and stay in the air for nearly 40 hours straight. Its body is made from carbon titanium composite, a material that's both lightweight and tough enough to survive heavy damage. If hit by enemy fire, it can still fly home, run diagnostics, and be repaired for the next mission. It's not designed for sacrifice. It's designed for dominance. It can cross continents, strike, and return intact. Every part of its frame, from wings to sensors, is made to outlive battle. This makes it one of the most durable combat drones ever built. And now Russia plans to mass-produce dozens of them, turning this single ghost in the sky into an entire fleet of hunters. By 2025, the Okotnik B officially entered serial production at the NAPO facility in Novosibirsk. Each Su-57 fighter jet would now receive its own loyal wingman, Okotnik, while the drone executed it with machine precision and zero delay. The Okotnik could fly ahead, scan targets, and neutralize threats before the enemy even saw the Su-57 approaching. In training tests, this pair outperformed entire Western squadrons that relied only on human coordination. The speed of decision-making became the real weapon. Humans gave the intent. Machines delivered the impact. It was the first doctrine where a pilot didn't need to be the fastest anymore. 
his AI partner already was. And that changed everything for NATO planners, because they now faced a war where the slowest part of the system was the human being himself. The Sukhoi S-70 Okotnik B combines everything modern war tries to achieve. Stealth, autonomy, precision, and survivability, all in a single platform. It can find, attack, and escape, all without being seen. Its AI system replaces human risk with robotic persistence. No fatigue, no hesitation, no fear. Every mission it flies learns from the last, making it smarter and deadlier over time. Each flight pushes the line between pilot and program, where machines start doing what only humans once could. Unlike any other combat drone in the world, the Okotnik B is both stealthy and reusable, able to return home, rearm, and fly again. No other country has a UCAV that matches this mix of power and survival. It's not just a tool for war, it's the blueprint for the next battlefield. And here's the truth. When machines start hunting like humans, wars will never look the same again. Because the Okotnik B didn't just enter service, it changed the meaning of combat. The S-70 Okotnik B is more than Russia's drone. It's the world's first AI stealth bomber. Defense insiders confirm it can fly and fight alone, receiving encrypted orders and destroying radar targets without human approval. It doesn't wait, it doesn't doubt. It acts in seconds. Humanity has now built a hunter that hunts without hesitation. The danger isn't how much it can kill, but how little warning it gives. What rolled out of that Russian hangar wasn't just technology, it was a turning point in who controls the sky. Because the next air war won't be flown by men. It'll be decided by machines like the Okotnik B. From a secret prototype to an operational ghost, the Sukhoi S-70 Okotnik B has redefined deadly. It isn't a swarm of throwaways. It's a reusable assassin that can vanish, strike, and return unseen. Subscribe for more cinematic defense breakdowns showing how nations are turning drones into decision makers of war. If this is what Russia shows, what is it still hiding?